think I spotted a tiger shark just up here. Go a little bit closer and see what we can see. I'm not really too interested in the ski, so I don't want to harass it too much, so I'll let her go on her path. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I haven't been in one of these in ages, man. Jacko, Cat, and Isla are here, and hopefully Jacko's got a way to pump this up. Yeah. What are you doing? Pushed in properly? No. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to get Strider to come in on this with me, and we're going to send it behind the ski. Alright. <laughs> here we go. You tired? You've been chasing everything all day. Have you? Mm. Does anyone else's car look like this? <laughs> Spear gun, rod, fins, bow and arrow, big floaty thing, tucker box, single. Just, oh, mango. I'm gonna eat this now, man. Whoa, woo, I forgot about these. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh, oh hit on. Where'd it go? That was a proper fishing arrow. Oh. It's Oh. It's actually crazy how many people ask me what I put on my face. In Australia, we call it zinc. It's just like really thick sunscreen. I'm a jump, good girl. It's a little bit blowy now. It's super dirty. Woo! So I'm just scouting up and down in the shallows. The tide's pushing in. A couple of fish, I don't know what they are from here. They might be Trevally long range in the shallows so I'm gonna see if I can get one uh, left-handed but I'm using a right-handed bow so I'll see how we go I think I just tagged one look this is, this is bloody addictive, hey. But I think, I don't know what to do because I feel like I'm using the wrong setup. With the setup that I got without it being a proper bow fishing setup, I pretty much have to stone the fish straight away. Otherwise it's just gonna wriggle off or get away. So I feel like I should probably stop doing this. I don't wanna put any unnecessary like damage on fish and pretty much have the smallest chance of getting one. Can you guys recommend any good setup for me to buy? Like any proper bow fishing setups with the bow arrow and everything. Um, 
that'd be great hey because i I'm, I'm new to this i'm back at the beach and i'm just going to swap out the bow and arrow setup for that new fishing setup that i just bought <laughs> so this is the stuff i just bought at the shop none of this stuff here is sponsored in any way. I literally just went down and bought this just then. Guys at the local tackle shop recommended all this stuff. Trusty spoon lure from the other episode. You guys remember this? Spoon lure! Spoon lure! There, oh, no way! Oh! Oh! Demon! 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 You got it! Look at that! Woohoo! This thing actually looks badass, hey? It's a sick little setup. Woo! Oh, damn. This is actually really cool for me, and I just want to say thank you to you guys. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! What's that thing? Woo! Look at all this! Oh wow, nice little flag! Okay. Okay. There you go, mate. See ya! Oh, so fun. So much fun. So just on the way home, I'm going to swing past Jacko's. He wants me to come around and check out some electrical work that he wants to be, get done at his house. But it's for the production of the guns, so I can't really argue with him. All right, we're at Jacko's. See what he's got in store for us. And this sexy little caravan here is actually not a caravan. It's a shed, and it's where Jacko's making all the spear guns. <laughs> yeah, not joking. Come in. Check it out. Guns. There's the man himself. Ooh. This is his little fire. office. This is for testing the triggers, buddy. Oh, triggers. Whatever, just deliver me the guns when they're ready. <laughs> I don't care. Power point there. Yeah, and then that one's for help. Right. Anyway, this is where I get lots of my work done. So there's one thing that I really want to uh, touch base, and that is a lot of you guys are asking if I'm making money on YouTube. A few episodes back, I said to you guys that I'm, I'm not. I'm an electrician. I work Monday to Friday, 7 to 3.30, just like everyone else. And I just do all the young blood stuff in my spare time. Don't make any money from any video on YouTube. And at that time, I was not. I had no idea that it was even a possibility. But because of you guys and all the comments that you left me and the direction that you pushed me, I finally got my first paycheck from YouTube. Tested that for months and months and months. And then we advanced these ones. And these ones here, a few really, really basic things to change that and they should be ready after that. 0001, that's the first original ever, this one. And I still use it every day, that's the one I've been using. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hey, please sign caps on outside. Brad, Lisa, Elizabeth and Devlin, thank you guys so much. I'll do that right away, these guys are the best. Sweet, thank you guys so much. All right, there's one, There's actually another thing that I want to address. Aha, oh shit. So a couple of days ago, Jack and Jay come and dropped this on my desk and said they found it in the tide line at the back of the reef drifting. It's pretty disappointing and I'll read out what it says on here. This is a scientific instrument carried aloft by a balloon to transmit meteorological data by radio signal to the Bureau of Meteorology. This device is harmless. It was in the water. To avoid noxious fumes, do not burn or incinerate. If you guys know any more about this, Bureau of Meteorology, can you answer for this? We would really like to know because we don't really want to find this drifting around the reefs at our, in, in our home. All right guys, so that's it. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your support. Um, thank you for helping me along the way with my YouTube so far and pushing me to the direction of uh, of putting ads and, and monetizing my videos and music to pick and so much stuff. I read a lot of your comments. Like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff, um, let me know. If you haven't seen We Have Fire, get on and watch that.
and I got work tomorrow as well. Ew. See you guys. So I feel like in this situation here, I really, so I'm gonna try one more time.